Good morning, Chantilly. My name is Yatra Karki. And I'm Lauren Seisky. Today is Thursday, March 25th, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today is an A day with LS6 and 7. Tomorrow, Friday, March 26th, will be a two hour early release for the end of the third quarter. Spring break will be from Monday, March 29th to Friday, April 2nd. Monday, April 5th, will be a student holiday and a teacher work day. Today's Spirit Day is Recreate a Picture Day. Tomorrow will be egg decorating. Chantilly continues to identify opportunities for students and faculty to challenge the status quo, create and sustain a just and equitable school and community, and provide resources, information, and curriculum that is actively anti-racist and embraces and celebrates all people and their contributions, regardless of race, culture, background, religion, sexual identity, language, or beliefs. For the first time, we are offering an African-American history course, as well as the elective course, Combating Intolerance. If you are interested in either of these courses, please contact your school counselor. Girls field hockey plays today at home versus Oakton. JV at 6.15 and varsity at 7.30. Volleyball plays away tomorrow, Friday, March 26th versus TC Williams. Freshman at 5, JV at 6, and varsity at 7.15. Varsity football plays at home tomorrow, Friday, March 26th, versus James Madison at 7. Cooking is an important skill for high schoolers that are trying to become self-dependent. One of our academy classes, Culinary Arts, helps develop that skill. Culinary Arts is an academy class that educates students on basic cooking etiquette and technique in a professional kitchen. Let's go to the Culinary Arts teacher, Chef Doubleday, for more. Uh, I've been in this position for 27 years, going on to 28, and uh, it has been one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life, was being able to come back to the high school I graduated from and teach in a class that I actually never took. Uh, I became interested in culinary when I was in high school, I was your age, and I got a job uh, at the age of 15 at a place called the Pepperoni Stick in Centerville. I also worked a second job concurrently at a place called Caruso's in Herndon. And I love both those jobs. I started as a dishwasher and started working my way up. Uh, I worked my way through college in kitchens. It's, it's the only job I've ever had has been in kitchens. Now, working in the kitchen comes with its own set of challenges. There are a great many challenges. Um, but the, the, the biggest challenges that we have as cooks or, or food service professionals is timing and teamwork. Those two things need to go hand in hand. When you go into a restaurant as a guest, you represent a set of deadlines. You will not sit there for very long and wait for someone to come and get your drink order. You won't sit for very long for someone to come and get your food order. You won't sit for long to wait for your food or for your check or anything like that. The biggest challenge that we have is actually having kids cook during class. There's not enough time for you at home to get all your ingredients together in between your English and your math class, get something made, and then clean up and be ready. It just, it's not physically possible. That's all for the culinary arts class. If you're interested in what we have shown, consider enrolling in culinary arts. This has been Pankaj Rapuru for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Along with other fall sports, the dance team has put work into their build routines. Let's see how they're doing. With all the other fall sports being rolled out, here's our very own Charger dance team. One team goal I have this year is to just get our team a little bit more bonded. Because of COVID, we missed out on a lot of activities that would have helped us bond a lot more. Our team goal is to just make the best of our opportunities and what we can do and just have fun with it. One team goal I hope to accomplish this year is to have everyone dance at our competition on the floor because that's a really big privilege. I think this year actually serves as a great opportunity for our team to focus on technical skills and that includes just working on synchronization and understanding how to dance together as a team. With COVID, I think we've all missed team bonding experiences. We haven't gotten to do much of that this season. The one thing I've missed the most with COVID is definitely nationals because we go to Orlando every year and we compete and it's literally three days of dancing and Disney World and so it's literally a dream. So dance team is planning on competing in competitions this year. We actually have two virtual ones coming up. For those, we're just gonna send a video of us doing the dance 
to the competition and the scores from the judges will come out later in the week. So during our practices, we start by stretching and conditioning and then we run our sidelines, which are the dances that we do on the track during the football games. We practice Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So Mondays and Wednesdays are usually two and a half to three hours sometimes. Oh, everyone has a great time at practice. It's really fun. We laugh and joke around and it's a really good environment. Wow, that sounds awesome. This has been Alex Spawn and Miranda Connor with the Nightly News. Now back to you. There are many outstanding students within our community. Wasim interviewed one of them on their recent accomplishments. Hey Chargers, Roberto Elliman, a senior here at Chantilly High, has been recently given a $68,000 scholarship to JMU. Let's see what his teachers have to say. Hey guys, I'm Miss Bates. I'm an ESOL teacher and wanted to talk to you about a student that is a senior and has received a $64,000 scholarship from George Mason. His name is Roberto Alamon, and I've taught him three years now, English 9, 10, and 11. Um, and we just wanted to congratulate Roberto and say what a hard worker he has been. He's done great in his English classes, learning English. The first day I had him, he didn't know a word. And now he's going to be a George Mason student next year. Well, uh, Ms. Bates was uh, his teacher for three years. I had him for one year, but he was here all the time and we were all helping him to thrive and to progress very, very quickly because he is so highly motivated, so studious, so diligent, so really, really interested in everything he's learning, like a sponge. And it was just a pleasure to have him in our classes. And uh, he is just our star, our model, and we were so happy when he shared the news with us about this full ride at George Mason, which is for him just totally like straight road to success. It's a, it's a teacher's dream for our students to be so successful and also to receive such an honor as a full academic scholarship in tuition to a major university. It, it's just once in a lifetime. It's going to change Roberto's life and we are incredibly happy for him and proud of him. All right, Chargers, this has been Wasim Shakir for The Nightly News. Now back to you. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This is Anya Trikarki. And Lauren Seisky, reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you next LS.